Simps. So today on the channel, I have an update to the Metal Foes deck profile, actually. But I've uh, changed it to a Metal Foes Zoo deck profile as kind of like a throwback to whenever Zoo first came out, uh, Metal Foes was still prominent in the format. So you could easily splash like Triple Rat into the deck and just like Pendulum Summon it and do full Zoo combo. Uh, that being said, things have changed. Obviously, Rat's not at three anymore. We have, you know, access to three Tankies, though, and we do have access to one Barrage, which is really good in the Metal Foes strategy, seeing as how we're really focusing the build around Magician Souls. So, you know, naturally, those cards work really well with Magician Souls' effect to draw. Uh, and also, it gives us the utility and the extra deck to have the Dryden as an additional piece of the end board and the possibility to go into Zeus or Megaclops, even if you wanted to do that. Um, I, however, am not summoning Megaclops in this build, mostly just because I couldn't find room for the Clops and uh, Tiger Mortar so that you could do the, like, the one card combo. But anyway, before we get into the video, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycons are a premium quality headphone that started half the price as other name brands. Something 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 endorsed by Snoop Dogg and other celebrities that you know and love, yada yada blah blah blah. Even giant fat apes like me can't seem to get them to fall out under strenuous pressure. The Raycon E25s is your best option yet with their sleek design, noise isolating fit, and they also come in five fun colors. Oh wow. I got pink because I'm fucking gay. And again, with the noise isolation, they're great for ignoring people at work, ignoring your girlfriend, ignoring your dog that's probably really hungry, or really just ignoring people in general. So be sure to use code WORST5 at checkout for 5% off your order and start taking your Raycons everywhere today. Alright, so we got the Metal Foe Core, the double Bismagear, and then you just play three of all the normals because they are, yep, metal foes. Um, so yeah, like I said in the, uh, the last profile, I'm just gonna add the new scale one, level seven, so that'll be cool. Uh, honestly, there was like no point in me like uploading this profile. I just kinda like wanted to do it while Zeus was still kinda new because whenever we get um, Blazing Vortex, I'm just gonna re-upload this again, but uh, yeah, so that's that. Don't really need to explain these guys. Pop face up cards, all the scale effects say pop face up card in your field and then set a Metal Foe Spell and Trap. And then to go with the, those guys, you have your Triple Rescue Rabbit. Uh, fairly decent normal summon, not really ideal, unless you're holding like Magician Souls. Um, it definitely is like a magnet for like Imperms and stuff though, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, it's really powerful. It's really powerful when you Pendulum Summon it too. Three Abductor, because it searches your three Magician Souls. Um, because like realistically like, Hands without this are really lackluster. Like this is your like major playmaker because you know you set up everything with your scales and then you summon this by sending either your Endymion, Mighty Master Magic, or your Jackal King, um, and then you can send your traps and search two middle foes and draw two cards. And then you know at least if like they Ash or like whatever the Magician Souls, you at least get to search two scales. And uh, I didn't explain this in the last video, but the reason why you play one of each is because if you don't have enough spells to get four counters on Selene, you just get this one. Because if, if you don't, then like you can't use Indubian's effect because you don't hold counters anywhere else in the field. Like the abductors are like long gone. Also, you just like wouldn't leave an abductor just sitting up. But yeah, that's why you play uh, two different names for that exact reason. And then of course, like Pendulum summoning these guys out of your hand is fine too. And then for the Zoo Core, uh, it's actually really tiny. It's just two zoo monsters. You could probably play rat too. I think if you play rat, you could play mega clops as well. And you could do like the one card mega clops thing. But realistically, uh, all you're really gaining by adding the zoos is like access to not only just this card because it's like nuts, but um, you get to play this, which is really good with your magician souls as well. And also all your metal foe monsters. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty sweet. And really like all it adds is going second, you can one card Zeus, or you can just add a Dryden to your end board. Like you can still do like the same end board of like Vortex, IP, Selene, Mighty Master, etc. And then you can like set quick play for like Alkahest and shit. But you can also just have a Dryden on top of that. Cause you can just pedal them some of the Zodiac monsters, which is cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, really small core. Like I said, you could probably play Rat as well, or maybe one Thoroughblade. I just figured that these are the best ones because this like negates traps or whatever, and then Whiptail is just a cheese. Like the Banish effect is just cheese. Um, but yeah, that's that. Consistency, double Summoner's Art because we cut the Klee package for the um, 
Zodiac cards, and then double Painful Decision because it's hard once per turn. Upstart Goblin because uh, placeholder card, and then the two fusion spells. Of course, like I said in the last profile, I never really want to draw these. Drawing these is okay. I actually cut combo to two to make room for the zoo cards as well. But really, drawing the traps is fine if you have Magician Souls. If not, it's really bad. Uh, really, just like not having access to Magician Souls is just really bad. Like, it just be honest with you. Like, this deck isn't really that good. You die to Nibiru so hard, but you can play through like a Gamma, you can play through like a uh, Impermanence, like, eh, like a single Ash, like shit like that. But um, yeah, you're just never beating Nibiru with this deck, I'm sorry. Because like, I don't have access to like a Servant of Endymion to get a Jackal King out of my deck. Uh, this isn't like Pure Endymion or like Pendulum Magicians, like this isn't Triff Gaming's channel is what I'm trying to say. So extra deck, IP, Selene, Nightmare Unicorn, Shady Abramax, uh, Appalooza. These are just like all broken Link monsters. One Cross Sheep for the combo. For Zoo cards, you have Dryden, Chalkanine, Borbo, and the honorary uh, Zodiac card, uh, Zeus, because he's a broken boy. Um, the Chalkanine is uh, like honestly just like a name. Like it, it's if if you played like Tiger Mortar. And, and Mega Clops and like the Chalk and I would like have more relevance. I guess honestly, like Chalk and I is like sort of like an extender, so that's cool too. But um, yeah, that's that. On Eyes Absolute and the Vortex to go with it because you're like link summoning this off for IP. Um, and the Metal Folk cards, Alkaheist, uh, Mithrilium, and Orichalc because Orichalc can just like randomly kill your opponent. So yeah, that's the profile. Uh, you know, adding the Zoo cards adds like nothing for consistency it's just like throwback and just kind of cool uh again like i said i'll be updating this list one more time when blazing vortex comes out uh even then it's like blazing vortex doesn't add a whole ton to like you know progressing the strategy into the new the newer uh era of Yu-Gi-Oh. but either way metal foes is one of my favorite decks of all time so we'll play it on the casual casual side of things for sure just got a lot of cool combos it's very explosive um, if anyone wants to see combo video or something or like explain the combo, I'll post a video. But honestly, you could just go watch his scene 656's channel and watch his videos on Metal Foes. It pretty much covers it for you there. But uh, yeah, that's that. And I'll see you next time, simps.